Hello everybody. Welcome to another video of Lightmatica Did You Know? You can see a selection box right here on this piece of carpet. And, uh, everybody who's ever used Lightmatica, they're familiar with this selection. And then my experience after loading the mod up and launching the loading the world, it's usually on the default setting of simple. Well, and not necessarily default. If you switch modes, this says normal, which I believe is the actual intended mode that the developer who created the mod had in mind. And I wanted to cover this section in some detail. I'll just gloss over it as quickly as possible. I want to keep these videos fairly short. But essentially what this allows you to do is be a lot more versatile and more powerful in your schematic creations to load into another world and build them as you see fit and I'm kind of going to kind of demonstrate that so let's go into the area selection browser we're going to create a new selection we'll just call this new now if we go back now I can actually you can see that selection box is gone and what I can do is I can actually start making a selection here We'll just do that and you can see the selection box as we have it here but say in your world you have a really large build it's quite elaborate maybe a city with multiple buildings and you want to do uh, s multiple selections of this so that you can build them piece by piece in your survival world and you don't need to have the entire schematic loaded all at once and doing the normal selection affords you this ability so with inside this let's say very large area. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes. We'll go back in here to the area editor and then we're gonna add a new subregion. We'll just give it a simple name here. And now we're gonna create a selection in this new sub area. You can see where I was standing, it kind of starts that. So if we make a selection there, it actually creates a box within a box. And you can have multiples of these inside of your normal schematic selection each one containing a section that you want to build in your world. All right, so let's go ahead and delete this here. Go in here, delete this, and it is no longer selected, but I'm gonna fly away here and I will go ahead into the selection browser, click on this, and you can see a selection that I have created over this automated storage system. And what I've done is kind of select each section or varying sections of the redstone down below for the automated sorted processing and what we'll do is we'll go into a new world i'll load this in and i'll show you basically how versatile this allows you to be i'm going to pause the video we'll be right back okay here we are in a new world and as you can see i've already loaded the schematic in and you can see the selection boxes around each area now you're in your survival world and you've got your schematic you load it in and you can see it just like this. You've got it where you want to start building it. What we can do now, it's a lot more powerful. We can go into the schematic placements. We can go into configure and you can see each region or selection area and we give them a name. I gave them a name trying to keep them vertically aligned other than the last piece here. And if we start turning these off, you'll see pieces of it start to disappear. But basically, all we want to do is focus on the very bottom section here. And while doing this, this also gives you another afforded feature that the developers thought about, and this is quite impressive, and I appreciate this very much. We can go into the material list, and we'll see the materials of just this lower section that we are required to build this in our world, allowing us a little more um, flexibility with inventory management on the fly. And say you've got this section built, and you need to, need to move on to the next section. Well, basically, we just go out of here and we turn this one off. We turn the next tier up on and you can see that that's there. And pretending that obviously the bottom section is already built, you can go into the material list. You can see that it has not updated. All we need to do is click refresh and it'll actually change to or you can show all cycle through that. It'll change to the other items that you need to build this very next section. And basically that's what this video is essentially about to show you the versatility and power of the normal selection mode when creating your schematics for build in a new world i do appreciate you taking the time to watch thank you for watching and have a good day